Tiffany, the shakeup here at Boynton Beach City Hall continues with the f interim city manager who until last month was a fire chief suddenly appointing a new interim police chief after the former interim police chief abruptly quit yesterday. So I sat down with both men today who both say what the city needs more than anything else right now is stability. After just a month at the helm, interim police chief Vanessa Snow is out and former assistant chief Joe DiGiulio is in the third Boynton Beach police chief in little over a month. It's, it's obviously exciting. Um, definitely came out of the blue. That may be an understatement. Snow, who was a former deputy chief and then named interim chief when Michael Gregory abruptly resigned last month, turned in her badge unexpectedly Thursday night. Friday morning, interim city manager Jim Stables, who has only been in that job for 30 days, announced DiGiulio as Snow's replacement. Was I dissatisfied or unhappy? Uh, I, I wouldn't go down that road. I, I find her to be a professional and I wish her well in her future endeavors. And Stable says he didn't force Snow out. I didn't run her out the door if that's the question. I, I didn't ask her to leave. I didn't, you know. But a clue may lie in the ongoing case of the death of 13 year old Stanley Davis III, who died in a dirt bike crash during an attempted police traffic stop in December. Davis's family, much of the community, packed city meetings demanding the officers firing and launching a civil lawsuit. It was during the outcry that former Chief Gregory resigned. Stable says DeGiulio's 21 years with the department was part of his decision to promote him. He has organizational and institutional knowledge that others do not have. That's helpful in a process where a steady hand is required. DiGiulio agrees he has his finger on the pulse of the community. It's a horrific incident, you know, and the community's hurt, you know, and I think for us to move on and heal as a community um, just requires cl closure. And Chief DiGiulio tells me that the internal affairs investigation into Stanley Davis's death continues and they will update the community as soon as it is complete. He also says he's not going to be making any big changes in the police department now after his appointment. And as far as the city's proposed merger with the sheriff's office, that is still on the table and information gathering is continuing. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.